Hi, I'm Professor Lorraine Hutchins, and I teach health issues and sexuality at Montgomery College. And people who've been my students are very familiar with my model of the clitoris. Um, and more than the clitoris, this is the whole female external genital system. But uh, it's not exactly life size. And we have a new internal clitoral model to show you today to teach you more about the clitoris, which is a female organ that um, has been left out of a lot of anatomy textbooks. And so it's important to understand how it works um, internally and externally both to have a fuller knowledge of uh, women's sexuality and women's body parts. And this uh, puppet that I'm holding has the major big lips called the labia majora and the labia minora, the little lips, the smaller internal lips. And this clitoral hood at the top is covering the little tip of the clitoris, which is the only part of the clitoris that is usually shown in any kind of drawing that you see. But there's a whole other um, structure underneath that people are just learning how to teach about. We know that this clitoral glands has 8,000 nerve endings, but we don't know everything that's underneath the big and the little lips. So we have this new model, this 3D model, that we've been working with, which shows the whole internal structure. So all of this structure is internal and underneath, except for this tiny little tip of the clitoris, the little bud on the outside that's exposed and usually covered by some skin uh, that's like the hood. And um, everything underneath is uh, sometimes called the body right here where the nerve endings go out to the tip, but the body is back behind it. And then you have these structures underneath the lips, the big and the little lips. And just like the penis, you have what's called the corpus cavernosum on either side, sometimes called the clitoral legs. And at the bottom, they get called the cura or the cruz on either side, and they're underneath the larger lips. Underneath the smaller lips are what's called the vestibular bulbs, and all of the structure becomes erectile tissue that opens up the vagina during intercourse. All this erectile tissue and all this structure is underneath the tiny tip of the clitoris, which is visible outside um, the woman's external genitalia, and it all is being recently reclaimed, understood information about women's bodies relates to not only sexual health, but also women's ability to feel um, and understand sexual pleasure and to be more comfortable during childbirth. All this erectile tissue that's underneath um, and behind the clitoris. Clitoral body, clitoral glands with 8,000 nerve endings on the tip, the corporate cavernosa on either side, and the vestibular bulbs in the middle. The crews of the clitoris, the plural being cura, are also called sometimes the legs. Thanks to the socio-medical researcher Odile Philode, French school children now have the world's first open source, anatomically correct, printable 3D clitoris used for sex education in French schools. And that's where we uh, started modeling this from at Montgomery College, is from looking online at 3D clitorises. So there's a lot of things that French children are learning in primary and secondary schools that um, people in colleges and adults still need to learn. And we hope we can all catch up with that information by just learning to talk about all these little parts that are underneath, inside the little tip, which is the only thing exposed on the outside. There's a bunch of women, um, midwives and nurses in the U.S. that have been complaining for years and asserting, hey, you know, the anatomy books can include the clitoris, both the tip on the outside and this internal ex and internal structure, but um, we're just beginning to name the parts, and I'm glad that we're able to do that at Montgomery College.